Hi, kindergarten, first and second grade leaders. We are preparing for May 13th, Mother's Day. And as you get to your tables today, there will be some activities for you to um, help your kids do for their mom. They probably have done something at school. They've probably purchased something. But for those few kids that have a single mom who don't really have a whole lot of people to help um, make sure that mom feels special, we want to make sure that that mom feels special today. And so you will have this activity sheet to, for the kids to color and to fill in the blanks. If you need to help them fill in the blanks, I really encourage you to do that. Um, and then also on your tables, there will be this activity. You may not have time for this this week, but um, in the coming weeks, you will have an activity. These will be cut up um, into to squares and the kids are supposed to use it like a puzzle and build to build the um, build the cereal box back into one. And um, the idea behind this for the entire month is just like we put a puzzle together, just like we put pieces together, that's how we're going to build our faith. And the Holy Spirit will be with us as we continue to teach this this month about who the Holy Spirit is and how God, how Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to for us to have a helper. So Because he knew that we needed somebody as a, as a constant reminder that he was with us and, and will always be with us. Then we'll move into large group. We're going to continue to do our minute to win it games. Um, that's been a big hit with all the kids and it's a good way to just kind of um, gather everybody together and have some fun together. So thank you for being good sports as you participated in games and as we continue to do those in the future. I'll teach the large group lesson. You have some discussion questions and I encourage you to save those discussion questions until after you have started your small group activity. Then your small group activity is um, in, in your baggie and in your baggie you will have some coins that are in a small baggie and then you will have two coins and some super glue. And I decided to do this for you because um, I think super glue and little hands may become really challenging. So this is for you, this is kind of a demonstration for you to do. What you're going to do is take your super glue and glue um, the two coins, the two plastic coins together. And you're going to probably need to put a little bit of pressure on them because the super glue doesn't dry real fast. But as your as your super glue is drying, you can pass out the coins to each of the kid kids and we've already glued these coins together and you want the kids with your sharpie that you'll have as well to write on one side of the coin um, on one side you're they're gonna put their initials I suggest that they put their initials on the star side but it really doesn't matter on the star side and then on the other side there should be some crosses and on the cross side you can put God's love and um, it should be very challenging for any of the kids to be able to pull these together these have been glued together for quite a while um, with strong super glue so it shouldn't be easy for them to pull apart um, it's a great illustration and I encourage kids to take these coins home, the ones that are glued together already, as a reminder. In fact, you can take your coins home with you if you'd like to as a reminder of how when we make a decision to believe in Jesus, then there is nothing in all of t eternity that is going to separate us from God's love. There's not anything we can do. There's not anything we can say. There's not anything that anybody else can do that's going to separate us from being in God's love. And so, great fun activity to do today with your kids. And as you um, are finishing that up, you may want to spend time now talking about your discussion questions. After your discussion questions, you'll have a... Um, marker board like this in your basket 
and some markers and a little fluff ball and the fluff ball is your eraser. And you will have a, a paper that has our key verse on it. Our key verse is also known as our memory verse. And the memory verse there this month is, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. 2 Corinthians 5.17 What an amazing reminder and how awesome would it be for every kid to truly have this memorized. Because when we believe in Jesus, there, the new, you have the ability to become new. You, all the old stuff, all the old thinking, all the old everything can be transformed through the Holy Spirit in us. And so um, you will write out the memory verse on your marker board and um, erase one word at a time in whatever order you want to. You might want to start at the, since it's our very first week doing this verse, you might want to start with the very first word and then help kids fill in the blanks uh, or talk through the blanks as they do this. So you'll, you'll do this activity for the entire month. So if just for today, you just need to write it out and have kids figure out ways to say it so that they can memorize it, then go ahead and do that. Then you will pray and send the kids home. We do have family resources again this month. They're green and um, go through the entire series. I keep saying month. We really are teaching by series now. And so the series starts in May and ends at the end of June. So it's not exactly a month. We'll have about six weeks of lessons. So um, thank you guys for leading. If you ever have any questions or you need help in your small group, please feel free to pull me aside. I thank you for the time and energy you put into loving kids right where they are. Have a great day.